Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Next here at 11, two Tarpon Springs police officers are on leave, and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating after an officer-involved shooting ends with a 17-year-old being killed. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline breaks down body cam footage of that shooting with an expert. Hey, block the area. Go, 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 go. 46 seconds. According to newly released body cam footage, that's how long Tarpon Springs police officers had to make this call Saturday night. Is that person a threat to an officer or are they a threat? citizen. On Monday, they revealed that on the other end of that response was 17-year-old Alexander King. Hey, get behind cover! Get behind cover! The department's police chief says King was pointing what was believed to be a military-style weapon at officers and people driving by. Two officers, in fear for theirs and the lives of others, fired multiple rounds each at the subject. But it was only after the shooting that police were able to figure out what King really had in his hand. The rifle he was using on closer examination was identified as an airsoft rifle. King later died in a local hospital. And after learning his age, many on social media have wondered if there could have been a different outcome. But law enforcement expert Dr. Dave Thomas says the officer's intentions were likely not to kill. Officers are not trained to shoot to kill. They are trained to shoot to stop the threat. The officers involved in this shooting are now on leave as the FDLE investigates. And Thomas says no matter the outcome, the shooting will take a mental toll. If the shooting is justified, um, then I, I think you can live with that much better than, it, than you can when it's not. In Tarpon Springs, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News. Rochelle, thank you. Meanwhile, the Pinellas County School District saying King was an 11th grade student at Tarpon Springs High School. And the district tells ABC Action News they will be providing grief counselors for students and staff if they need them.